Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on how to complete cancellations in your new book system. Before we get into the cancellation process itself, I would like to note that you can set up automated cancellation fees that can be added within your rates. This means when you cancel a booking, New Book will know whether or not to automatically raise a charge and retain any credit from a prepayment that they may have made. In order to do this, you head over to your menu search and locate your booking rule templates. This area of the system allows you to set templates for inventory items, deposit rules and cancellation fees or modification fees. Simply select add rule template in the top right, create the name as an example, peak cancellation. I then change it to the type of rule I'm creating. In this scenario, it's an adjustment fee and then I select add adjustment fee on the right. I need to ensure I've selected cancellation fee and then also search and select the inventory item that I'd like to generate the billing for these fees. We then have our adjustment fee restrictions, which allows us to set when these fees need to automatically create. So we have two options, either a set amount of days within their booking arrival or after the booking has been placed. So if I leave it on zero, and days after bookings place, basically any booking that cancels after they've made the booking will incur this fee. If I head down below, I then set how I want it to calculate. So is it a fixed value? Is it the number of nights on average that they're staying? Do you want to set a percentage? So I might want to say 50% and then simply save that one. And once I've got that saved, I now have that template available to go and add within my rates. So it's as simple as heading to your rates page in the menu searching for the rates that you want to attach that to, bulk selecting, and then with those selected items, set your adjustment fees. You'll then notice you have the standalone option. In this scenario, we're going to use one of the pre-saved templates. This ensures consistency and then make sure that staff aren't selecting the wrong things. Click on the drop down and then select the correct one that applies. Once that's selected, you can then confirm and that will update those rates so that new bookings have those cancellation fees calculated within them. Now that you know how to set up automated cancellation fees within a rate, I'd like to walk through a couple of cancellations. So the first one we're going to take a look at if we head to our bookings chart is a booking here that we have for Jane Doe arriving on the 4th of April. When I double click and open up her booking, I can see her booking ID at the top her status is confirmed indicating she has paid. You'll see the rate that is set here and you can see there's also the zero dollar balance. Again, she's fully paid. This booking has a cancellation fee calculated within the rate. And if you see a preview of a value here, it is advising you that if that guest is to cancel today, that fee is automatically going to raise and keep some of that prepayment for that booking. To cancel, very easy, simply go to update, select your cancel, it will change the status, you can place a reason under here, you also have the ability to create your own cancellation reasons that you can use again and again, and then simply cancel the booking. You'll notice in the background, it updates the status, it lets you know who cancelled it, it removes the rate because that's no longer being incurred, and you can now see that new book has raised a cancellation fee for $210 which brings their overall credit down to 420 from what they had previously paid. If we're wanting to refund that back to that guest, all we do is click add refund. In this scenario, we need to select that we are going to manually give this back as cash, tick the payment and then save. That's then going to generate the receipt and we can then choose to send that off to the guest if we need to. Alternatively, if you have automated contact set up to send cancellations through, it will send off once that's been cancelled in the system. The second scenario I'd like to show you is if you have a booking that is cancelling and they are going to incur a fee, however you'd like to remove that and give them a full refund. So this time we're going to go back to our bookings chart. We'll see we've got a booking here for John Doe. I'm going to double click and go straight into his booking here. Now with this particular one, again, Got the view of the booking, it's confirmed, we've got the zero dollar balance indicating full payment, but if he cancels today he's going to incur the $300. If we'd like to cancel this and also remove the fee, we can do that in one step by heading to edit booking, changing the status from the drop down. You can again place a reason in here if you wish to. 
And then all we're going to do is scroll down to the adjustment fees section here and remove that fee and then save down the bottom. Once that saves, you'll see it cancels the booking, it removes the rate and places their account into full credit for the amount that they had paid. Again, you can click onto this value here. Depending on how they've paid, obviously you can see that listed below. Um, tick this one, manual refund, cash, and then save. The two scenarios I just showed you were refunds that were completed as cash. For those of you who happen to have a credit card gateway where you're taking payments through the new book system, you can also refund directly back onto those cards as well via the credit card gateway. So what we're going to do now is locate a booking that has paid via the gateway. So I'm going to use my global search on the top this time and look for a booking ID. I've got a guest on the phone wanting to cancel. So we click into their booking. Again, it takes us to the view of their booking. They're confirmed. There's the rate and there's a zero dollar balance. This scenario, I can see that they're actually outside of our cancellation fees. So they're not going to incur any fees when they cancel today. So in this scenario, I update, cancel, select a reason and then cancel booking. That's then going to put the full amount into credit for us. So to refund via the gateway as well, you can click into here. If you click on this option here where it says a credit card gateway transaction is ready to be refunded, simply click the card and then refund directly back onto it from that page. You'll see it shows the initial Visa gateway transaction and then the refund that we've issued back directly onto that same card. The last scenario I'd like to walk through with you is when a guest calls and cancels and you're not going to issue them a refund, but you are happy to hold their prepayment in credit for them to use for a future stay. So using the global search, I'm going to search for the booking and click into it from here. We can have a look at the rate. We can see if they're going to incur a cancellation fee. In this scenario, they will not. They are fully paid with the zero dollar balance. So again, cancelling is very straightforward. Update, cancel, select your reason, and then cancel the booking. What that does is obviously officially removes it from the chart. So it's now available for somebody else to book. It then places their booking account in credit. Now, obviously, if we were refunding, we would click this button. However, if we're not issuing this back to the guest, what we can do is what we call a balance transfer, where we move the credit out of the booking account because it's cancelled and we place it into their guest client account, which is a great account to use for these specific scenarios and to ensure that you're managing your cancellation credits effectively in the system. So what we do is we move it from A to B. You want to make note of the actual guest account ID that you've got here so that you ensure that you transfer it to the right account. But basically, click into the account the money is sitting in. You'll see the overall credit balance here. You then press the transfer icon in the top. It'll bring up a pop-up box saying what account it's going to take it out of and then on the right, what account you want to place it into. So if you pop in the ID, it will filter down and show the specific account. You can then transfer that full amount over. The description will simply say balance transfer. You can place something additional in here if you wish to, such as cancellation credit. In this scenario, is it a booking deposit? Not necessarily because we've just canceled, so it's not yet going to be used towards a booking. You can place that on no. However, if you'd prefer all of your credits in the system to be listed as a deposit, leave this on yes. If you want to issue a new receipt so that you can show the guests that you have transferred that amount into their guest account, select yes and automatically reconcile credit transfer. This is something to be mindful of. If their guest account happened to have a debit on it, would you want this payment or this transfer of credit to actually soak up those fees or pay those off? So if you don't, make sure you place this on no and then simply transfer over to that guest account. So you'll get a success message here. You can see it shows the receipt as well, showing that we've balanced transferred the money out of the booking account and placed it into their guest account. The great thing about this is when John calls, if he advises that he has a credit and we search for his name in the system, you'll see it shows his guest profile here. And over on the far right, it tells us if he has any credit that he can use for a future stay. 
To make a booking for him, you can actually click his name and then select Add New Booking in the top. That then pulls through his profile. You go ahead and select your stay dates, how many nights they're obviously traveling. Once you've selected this and then saved the booking, you'll be able to see it's got the new booking account. It's unconfirmed because no payment has been received yet but what you can see is the client account listed below. So we've got the booking account with the debt outstanding and the guest account with the credit. All we need to do if we want to now use that for the stay is transfer it out of the guest and onto the booking which will confirm the status. So this time you'd make note of the booking ID here and click into the guest account where the credit is. Select the transfer button, pop in the ID of the account that you're transferring it to is it a booking deposit? 100% yes it is. Do you want to create a receipt? Yes or no? In this scenario we'll say yes and then transfer. So that updates the booking to confirmed and it transfers that credit out of the guest account and onto the booking. The last thing I would like to also show you is that you can actually run a cancelled list which shows you which bookings have been cancelled in your book and which ones have potentially been issued with refunds or which ones have credits being held for their guest account. So using your main menu search on the left, simply type your cancelled list here. That will open the list of bookings that have been cancelled and the date range that we have predefined on the list. So you can see all of the booking names, where they were staying, their dates, what their booking client account balances, whether they've been refunded, and what their guest client account balance is. For those of you who run this list and do not see the refund issue column, simply head to Options, Column Configuration, and that will allow you to add it in from the hidden column on the right-hand side. Simply select a plus and you'll have it appear over on the left-hand side. Again, this report really is great for managing your cancellations and making sure that staff have correctly issued refunds or not, or that they've correctly you know, transferred money into the guest client account. It's something that is helpful to check you know, at the end of each day or week, depending on your preferences. One last report you can also take a look at is your client account creditors report. So found in your menu search. This report is really great if you want to specifically look at all of those guest accounts that may have credit in them due to those cancellations. So all you need to do is filter the report to just show the guest accounts by clicking advanced. You can then change the client account type specifically to guest and then run the report. That's then going to show any guest accounts in your book that have that credit sitting within them so that you can keep tabs on them and ensure that they get used across um, a booking in the future. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on cancellations. We hope you've learned a lot and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.